Now that you've installed BigCommerce for WordPress, let's connect it to your existing BigCommerce account. If you're still on the welcome screen, you can click Connect My Account. If you've already navigated away, use the Get Started link at the top of the dashboard and then click Connect My Account. All right, now let's authorize WordPress to connect to your BigCommerce account. In the new authorization window, log into your account. After you log in, confirm that BigCommerce for WordPress should have access to your BigCommerce store. Next, we need to select the channel that we'll use for selling products on this site. You can choose from any of your existing channels or you can create a new one. After this, choose if you'd like new products to automatically appear on this site or if you would like to manually select the listed products. Once you've decided, continue to the next step. In the final step, you get to decide how you'll use BigCommerce for WordPress right now. You can always adjust your settings later, so it's only important to pick how you want to use BigCommerce today. If you want to blend your commerce and content into a single site, select Full Featured Store. This will automatically create additional pages for handling the store catalog and checkout experience. You'll have one additional optional step to configure your site navigation. Or select Simple Blogging if you want to casually embed products in your posts and pages and let visitors complete their purchases on your separate BigCommerce store. Now you're ready to begin adding products and customizing your store's appearance. So check out our other videos to learn how you can make the most of BigCommerce for WordPress.